DRDO developing high-energy beam lasers weapons, project likely to be completed by 2017. India's Defence Research Lab Defence Research and Development Organisation, DRDO, is said to be developing directed energy weapons, DW. This could include the use of high-energy lasers and high-powered microwaves as weapons of the future. Countries like the US, Russia, China and others are far ahead of India in the research and development of beam laser weapons, and India too is trying to make some headway towards such futuristic weapons, the Times of India reported. DRDO is currently working on a 10 kW directed energy weapons that will enable the armed forces to take down targets like UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle. It is also working on the establishment of critical technologies of precision tracking, pointing and laser beam combination, the report said. DRDO has already tested the system for a range of 800 meters at its Hyderabad-based Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences. It was reportedly shown to the armed forces at Rangar, Haryana, based Terminal Ballistics Research Laboratory in 2015. DRDO has also developed smaller systems like laser-based ordnance disposal of IDES and mines, handheld laser dazzlers for use against terrorist and vehicle-mounted laser dazzlers to control. The New Delhi-based Laser Science and Technology Center, a DRDO lab, is said to be working on a variety of weapon systems ranging from chemical oxygen iodine lasers to high-power fiber lasers for strategic applications. One of the projects in development is a 25 kilowatt laser that is being designed to target a terminal phase ballistic missile at a range of 5 to 7 kilometers. The government released Rs 115 crore in February 2014 to Center for High Energy Systems and Sciences in order to develop experimental technology modules for directed energy laser systems, and this added impetus to the project, which is scheduled to be completed by July 2017. The directed energy weapons is not new to the Defense Ministry's planners. Since the development of DUES and Electromagnetic Pulse EMP, weapons was classified as top priority area in the 15-year technology perspective and capability roadmap that was prepared by the Ministry. The toy report also noted the operational significance of such weapon systems, cost-effective and flexible, can engage multiple targets, silent and stealthy, no limitation on stock or magazine capacity and has pinpoint accuracy. However, one of the challenges for the DRDO scientists is to have a solid state laser dues that can be used from aircraft and warships, and which can destroy enemy ballistic missiles in their boost phase itself and not wait until the terminal phase. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.